That's it. Okay, take one. Ow. The original concept for Funky Llama was around creating a project that addressed the lack of social opportunity and high quality arts activity for learning disabled adults. And that kind of stemmed from work and research around other projects happening in the country that were providing kind of inclusive club night type events and disabled focused arts companies that were doing that work. What the Theatre Royal did is respond to that gap and fill that need to take a risk, to take a step out of the ordinary and to make something really magical happen and then to work together to evolve it and grow it and to make it keep happening for 10 years. I think that is something that is very special. It's so much about social connection as well as creative connection. To mark 10 years of Funky Llama, we're doing 10 events of varying scale across the year. One of the events, we're actually going way back to a pilot project that happened for Funky Llama back 13 years ago called the Funky Llama Cabaret Nights, where a community of disabled artists came together and performed in the drum theatre for an evening. So one of our events this year is to revisit that, which is an event that loads of the staff here at the Theatre of Plymouth still speak so fondly of 13 years later. We've just watched the Funky Llama Cabaret. Such a variety of acts and it was a great entertainment for everybody. And everybody contributed, which was great. I think it puts the funk into Funky Llama and it combinates the 10 years well. That Spike, he's very good. And the girl, the aerial act, she was absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, she was good. And we loved the last act. You were signing, weren't you, yeah. to yeah. Don't Stop yeah. Me Now. Yeah. Yeah, we were, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. It was cool, good fun, wasn't yeah. it? I think it was just about what it Punky Lama encapsulates the fun, the enjoyment, what it brings to the people. It's just a big celebration. So one of the brilliant things about my job is getting to work on the steering group with sort of 12 to 15 brilliant um, members of the community who sort of with them we decide what happens on the programme, how we do it, um, how we can make it better, how we can make it more interesting and yeah it's that real collaboration at its heart and just joyful and fun. It's beautiful, I love it. The Funky Lama Steering Group is essentially the driving force of the project. We all sit around and we talk about what we want for the disabled community but also for the arts. As we've progressed over the 10 years it's really about disabled artists being at the forefront of what we do and the Funky Lama Steering Group. Each year we've had, we've been really privileged to work with different, extremely talented disabled artists and see their journey kind of grow over the, the 10 years. I'm connecting to Funky Lama as part of a steering group member, organising events like Best Force and Nightclubs and organise per jams for their the uh, petitioners like Sarah and us like drama. It's a huge platform. It enables so much creativity. I, I mean, I've lost track of how many people I've worked with over the years. People who come back every time. My particular highlight would be the first club night that we did. And we were, again, we were overwhelmed by the amount of people that attended that night. And it was just an absolutely joyous occasion. And it really demonstrated that there was a demand for this project in Plymouth. I think when we had not down, I think we, I think enjoyed the website that we made for the night club website. It's one way in Carol Hill one night. That was my favourite part night, but I think the club night might be another one. And the festival last year, when we did have Halloween version. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Watch out now. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time. And I came to groove. The whole band's here and we came to move.
the event bodies is in place to recognise that not everybody wants to attend an event or the club night with a family member. It, it really is about partnering somebody up who has shared interests and, and a passion for, for doing that activity. Um, what's really lovely is it's created some really nice friendships. From the very first time we were teamed up together as, as the, the gig bodies as it was called, they matched us together and and we got on from the moment we met, didn't we? Yeah. And we've just had some great times and some really good laughs. Yeah, friends. Yeah. A friend, Bramley. For many years now, we've um, been working with Funky Llama. We have worked with the uh, backstage groups, um, Funky Mix, drama, dance, music, and our guys are really passionate about being part of the festivals. I think quite often when people come to watch shows, we see what we see on the stage but there is a whole universe of people behind the scenes who come together to create this performance. And it's really important for our Funky Lama participants to come and see and experience and meet those people. And as well as learning about it, we do practical exercises with the professionals at the theatre um, to, to give people insight into, into the roles, to see actually if this is a career that they would like to take up. We work with the lighting department here at the Theatre Royal and we've played with Haze and Smoke and we've triggered pyrotechnics, so we've triggered the, the big flames that you see during the performance. We've met with the head of stage who's took us up to the fly floor and our participants have flown in scenery, um, actually used the ropes to fly the scenery in and out of the stage uh, and members of the public do not get to do that. It's hard to even put it into one, uh, one highlight, it's many highlights. I think one of them was the week-long residency we did with Extraordinary Bodies at TR2 where Extraordinary Bodies took over the building and we rigged up aerial equipment in Studio 3 and had the opportunity to kind of play and hang from the ceiling and explore different circus skills which was amazing, something that no one had ever done before. So an amputee. I started aerial after my amputation as I was a dancer before an aerialist. I was a bit lost for a bit of how to gain that back. How do I dance now with my new body? And stumbled across aerial just by chance on a Facebook ad. That was it, I started and it's like a new way to dance for me. I can dance without having to be on my feet. I've been working on a piece, worked more on aerial with a member of the group and we've done our piece more about we don't fit into boxes and we won't be confined by our chairs and we are open space and we are all um, individually different and just having that freedom coming together this week um, as part of the programme has, has been really amazing to reach like, our full potential. I've learnt that there are so many progression opportunities out there and I've learnt that I can push myself more and I've definitely um, broken through more boundaries this week. I think Funky Llama has become a movement. I think what's really important is the way that Funky Llama has impacted what you might call the mainstream sector. Subsequently, a lot of the events of Funky Llama have happened all over the city. It's had a huge impact, not just on the lives of individuals and communities, but it's had an impact on the city. To me, I think Funky Llama means community, and that's what's at the heart of it. I believe that what Funky Llama does is offer these opportunities to disabled adults, um, to give them the equal playing field. Not to put like cheesy words to it, but it has changed my life in the best sense because it kind of like made me recognize to get me out of my little comfort zone. Go on, Steve, what did you say? I think the highlight uh, has been on stage with you, you getting me to sing. 
Yeah. Because I was really embarrassed, wasn't I? Yeah, Bowen's. And you got me to sing with you on stage. Yeah. And helped me lose my inhibitions. And we sang, do you remember what song? Yeah, Grace Tatlin. Just sheer joy. Um, and I think that's because of the people that attend and the community that we've built over the years has just made it such a joy to be a part of. In the end, every, yeah, everyone needs Funky Lama. <laughs> I guess I look forward to the next 10 years and maybe in the next 10 years, Funky Lama will just be a completely embedded, uh, integrated part of life in Plymouth and perhaps it won't have a sort of special name. Maybe that time will come. It's had a massive and lasting impact on me and will continue to forever, I reckon. Mm -hmm.